Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. In this flow series we will see how we can use subflow in Salesforce flows. So what is subflow in Salesforce? In Salesforce subflow are flows that can be called from another flow. They are reusable that means once you create the subflow you can use it in another multiple flows. To better understand let's take a scenario. So here is the scenario you have created an account screen flow and account record trigger flow these both flow for the account creation and you need to send an email to the customer regarding the account creation. So here whenever the account is created from the screen flow or the record trigger flow we need to send an email to the customer regarding the account creation. So here instead of creating the send email action on both flows we will create subflow and add this subflow to the account screen flow and then record trigger flow. So without any delay let's jump to the org. So this is Salesforce homepage to navigate the flow in the quick find box search for flows. Under the process automation you will get flows click on it. Now here we are going to create new flow for that here you can see new flow button click on it. Now first we will create screen flow so that we can create account from the screen. After the updation here we have two options start from scratch and then use a template. Here I am going to create start from scratch and then click on next button. Now we are going to create screen flow then click on create. Now in the screen flow we need to add screen component. Here I am clicking on add element and here you can see under the interaction we have screen click on it. Enter the label for screen component here I am entering account screen. The API name will automatically populate. Now we need to add the fields which require for the creating account record. So for creating account we have required name field. For that here I am searching for text. And then drag this text and add to the screen component. Now we need to enter label for the text. Here I am entering account name. API name will automatically populate. If you want to make this name field required you can check this checkbox. Now when the account is created we need to send an email. For that here I am adding the email field. Drag this and again drop in the screen component. Now in the API name here I am entering customer email. We need to add underscore in the API name. Now these two field enough for the account creation. Here I am clicking on done. Ok here is the error. This API name is already used. Here I am changing the API name. Here I am entering account underscore email. And then click on done. So I have created video on how to create screen flow in Salesforce. The video link I have given in description box you can go through it. So you will get idea about screen flow in Salesforce. Now we created the screen to take an input. Now we need to create account record. For that click on add element. Then search for create record. Select. Enter the label. Here I am entering create account record. The API name will automatically populate. Then how to set record field values. Here we need to select manually. And then in the object select account. Now here you will see the required field. Now in the value we need to pass the field that we created in screen flow. For that as you click on it here you can see account screen click on it and then account name. Now we need to add another field and as you click on search field here you will get all the fields from the account object. Here we need to select email or you can directly search email and in the value account screen and account email and then we need to pass the email value and now simply close this. So here we created the screen which take input from the user and then we created the account record. Now we need to send an email when the account is created but we will not add the send email action in this screen flow. Instead of that we need to create two resources recipient email and then email body. For that here you can see the toggle toolbox click on it and here you will see new resource click on it. 
Now first we will create email body variable for that in the resource type we need to select text template enter the API name here I am entering email body the API name should be in underscore and then we need to create the text template for that here you can see view as a rich text we need to change it to the plain text here I am entering then from insert a resource here you can see screen component here I am adding account name now enter the message your account has been successfully created and then done and another thing which we need to send an email to the customer account which is recipient email address that email address we can get from the account screen that we added now I am going to save this screen flow here I am entering flow label for example screen flow to account creation the flow API name will be automatically populate and then simply click on save now before the activating this screen flow we need to create sub flow where we will create send email action and that sub flow we will add to the this screen flow now I am going back to the create new flow click on new flow start from scratch next now to create the sub flow we need to select at a launch flow then click on create now in this flow we need to create two variables to take the value from another flow in this scenario we need to take value from the screen flow so to create the variable again navigate to the resources new resource in the resource type select variable here I am entering the API name as sub underscore email body in the data type select text and then available for input then click on done similarly we need to create another variable which will take the value of email addresses again click on new resource resource type as variable here I am entering sub email address data type as a text and available for input and then click on done now we will add an email action for that click on add element and search for send email here I am entering send email the API name will automatically populate now as you scroll down here we need to add body as you enable this here we need to select variable that we created in this at launch flow as you click on it here you can see the simple variable select it now again scroll down and here you will see recipient address list enable this and select the email addresses now as you scroll down here you can see subject enable this now here we need to send an email to the customers whose account is created for that here we can enter account is created and then simply close this now we successfully created an action but this action doesn't work until you add this flow to another flows because the etalonge flow cannot run by itself it needs to it needs to call by another flow or another tool now here I am saving this at launch flow or sub flow I am entering label sub flow for sending email the flow API name will automatically populate and simply click on save now again what we need to do we need to open the account screen flow that we created for that I am opening the account screen flow here you can see screen flow to account creation I am opening this and now we need to add at launch flow as a sub flow in the screen flow for that as you click on add element here you need to search for sub flow here you can see sub flow click on it and here you will see all the at launch flow that you created 
Here you need to search for the label or API name that you enter for the auto launch flow that you created. Here we entered subflow for sending email and then select the subflow. Now here again we need to enter the label. Here I am entering send email to customer. The API name will automatically populate. Then as you scroll down here you can see set input values. If you remember these variable we created in the auto launch flow that means in the subflow. Now we need to pass value to this variable. As you enable this here we need to enter the value. As you click on the enter value here we need to pass the value from this screen flow. So here first is the email address. So to add the email address click on the account screen and from the account email we can provide the email address. As you click on account email we need to provide value. And then for the email body enable this click on enter value and then here you can see text template that we created in the screen flow. And then simply close this. Now click on save. Now here you can see here we have one error as you click on it and then click on warnings. As you read this warning here you can see send email to customer subflow the reference flow subflow for sending email has no active version. For that what we need to do we need to activate the subflow that we created. For that I am navigating to the subflow. Here you can see the subflow that we created and then we need to activate this. Again open the screen flow. Refresh the page. Now I am activating this screen flow. The screen flow was activated. Now what we need to do? We need to add this screen flow to the salesforce org. For that I am navigating to the org. And then open any app. Here I am opening sales application. Now we need to add that screen flow on the home page of the sales application. Here I am clicking on gear icon and then here you can see edit page click on it. And here we need to add the screen flow. For that in the components we need to search for the flows. Here I am searching for flows. Here you can see under the standard components we have flows. Drag these flows and drop whenever you want. And now in the flow we need to search for the screen flow that we created. Here I am selecting this. And here we created screen flow to account creation. Select it and then simply click on save. Then click on activation. Now again go back to the home page of sales application. And here you can see the field that we added in the screen flow that appear over here. Now here I am creating the account with the name Alex Joy. Now here I am entering the my email so that I can show you the received email. And then click on next. Now as you navigate to the accounts, here you can see Alec Joy account has been successfully created. Now I will show you the email which I received. I am opening the Gmail. If you don't get email in inbox, you can see in the spam also. And here you can see as I open this email, here you can see the subject account is created that we added in the subflow and then hello Alec Joy, your account has been successfully created. Now in this way this subflow we can add another flows also so that we don't need to create the send email action again and again in multiple flows. So I hope you have got an idea about subflow in salesforce flow. If you like the video hit the like button subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon to get regular updates. Thank you.